let me teach you how success comes the moment you are seeking it you will never get it these things were never designed to be pursued i was teaching my people the other day listen let me tell you this life is dimensional as programmed by god and every dimension has the possibilities that are supposed to come are we together so call it level one two three four five if you are in level one in your understanding and perception and you want the result of level five if you get it and bring it here that level will fight it and send it out of your life you grow when you grow all the realities that accrue that level of growth will come to you success is attracted by who you are becoming not what you go, do and get no is why many people fail our labor is to try to draw things that are in dimensions that are higher than our understanding and perception the assignment is to journey with the holy spirit as you transit to these realms everything around you that is lower than that realm will be instructed to leave you your contacts your friends your clothes your money everything there is a law that edits your life at every realm see this is why we are frustrated because some things we are doing there is a law that should be doing it but because we do not understand that they have been pre-programmed our worry over them understanding brings ease so you will see a young man for instance who is just starting life and insists that he must fly business class and while you are sitting there your realm is fighting it you know you are not supposed to be here your understanding how you know you are not there is only one aspect of your life is there when you grow everything grows you are in business class but your clothes are not for business class your mind is not for business class the recharge card in your phone is not for business it's proof that you you follow the window to be there when you are patient and you grow everything will grow together the same energy it takes to be fake is the same energy it takes to be real so we are frustrated that's why most of our prayer lives are full of requests and pain and shouting and say lord i can't believe this we're in the same school with this person what i saw today i won't let you rest the bible says, give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem you see those kinds of scriptures we, we just because the bible is a prophetic book you can make it speak any language you want a herbalist can use the bible to destroy you it's a prophetic book so we have to be very careful these needs and cares many times they come from the lusts that are enshrined in our hearts that were designed to be corrected in the place of prayer many things happen when we pray the purging of the spirit your motives are purged the need to prove a point is eroded quickly because God helps you to understand that growth is something that is natural with men that means I can live a former version of myself to another version. So when you see the former me, don't use the former me to judge how I will be tomorrow. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. The average prayer life of a believer in Nigeria is need-driven. And there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that it makes no sense to pray for six hours asking for things it doesn't make sense do you have that much prayer request or is god that deaf if your prayer life is need driven 20 minutes is fair you are talking to an intelligent god rent oh god my wife oh god very simple you are and, and you are ticking the list so why will i pray for five hours what am i asking for But if the prayer is for intimacy and growth just saying thank you alone can take one hour this is how the matured pray 
while you are there oh god and someone can just be thinking your mercy oh god he's starting to pray oh, look what you have done to me mighty god and before you sing in tongues to start that one is just knocking on the gate that's why people pray well during retreats no prayer request the angels are there no request and say who is this man i hope you know the angels study us too to know god more the angels are not the highest of god's creation man is so they depend on our interaction to know god the more too and while the angels wait the only vials they carry from us is an incense of worship and gratitude for hours you're just singing songs and blessing him. 